Okay, this app we're going to look at is called Bugs and Buttons. And it consists of uh, three screens which each have six mini games on each screen. And let's go ahead and look at the information button here and it's something very neat which is a kid lock which um, if you access this will let you rate the app and also send them an email uh, if you want to. So let's open that by getting the correct answer and you'll see that it email us to review the app. A little bit about the company. Let's go back. Um, let's explore the app and like I said it has six uh, mini games per screen, screen one, screen two, and screen three. For this demonstration, we're going to review each screen uh, by itself. Um, so we're on screen one. As you go through the puzzles, you can collect stamps. And then as you collect the stamps, you can look at the insects in more detail, uh, which is very cool. Let's go back out from here. And let's go ahead and uh, start by... Uh, looking at the first one. This is called Bee's Eye and it's sort of like an archery app where you have to pull them back Yippee! and shoot the flowers. Yippee! And as you go through the levels it becomes increasingly uh, more challenging. I'll just show you very quickly once you complete the first level the target will start to move. Here we go. And something neat about this is you can change the side of the target. So if you want to shoot from left to right or right to left and so on. And you continue that, aiming it to try to hit the target. If you're not a very good aim like me, you often miss and then you don't get a start. Let's go back out into the main menu. Have a look at the second one. This is all about patterns and a sequencing app where you have to fill in the correct uh, missing pan. And again, as you go through this, the more complex it becomes. So now you have a choice of three buttons down the bottom, as you can see. Now you've got four buttons down there. And so on. If we get one wrong, it just disappears. We don't get a star for that because we didn't get it correct the first time. And so on. Let's head back out. Back into the menu. Let's have a look at counting. Okay, so what we have here is we have numbers down the left hand side and we have how many of the bugs on the screen. And we basically two, three. count them and press the correct number. So you can do this two ways. You can have the child touch the bugs uh, for reinforcement, or you can just have them ask them how many there are and touch the correct answer on the screen. The bugs change as you go through. One. And so on. Numbers increase, further on we go. As you can see on the left. Let's head back out. Okay, tic-tac-toe. This is a favorite of everybody's, but with bugs, obviously. Ooh, let's hope he doesn't go there. And we got a star. And then it resets. And starts all over again. Okay. Let's go to catch him. This is one of my kids' favorite ones where you get a lot of bugs on the screen. You get a timer at the top. And the idea is to Whoa. try to touch the bugs all over the screen, which is okay when it's ants. Uh, again, great detail, really very good graphics, and the way they move is fantastic. Um, so that can be quite fun to watch. And as you go through the different levels, uh, different bugs appear. 
and they all come on the screen which is a little bit creepy crawly and so on I'll let you explore that one and then the final one on this first screen is button sorting so this is one where you get a conveyor belt with buttons it starts off easy enough where you have to put these buttons into the one box with the same color and shape and everything else on the box and as you go through it becomes a little bit more complex now we have a blue buttons and green buttons and again it's a matter of dragging the green ones to the correct box and the blue ones to their block if you get a little bug coming on the screen you'll get an extra 10 seconds you do get one minute to complete the task and as you go through it does get harder the more you the further you go in this the similar the buttons become so it becomes more of a test um, and then you continue until you complete those so let's head back out and that completes the first uh, six apps what six mini games what we're going to do is we're going to do another review a separate video of the second six so i hope you enjoyed the first six and uh, join me for the second six on the next video